Afghanistan may not have a coastline, but Helmand has a huge network of waterways. And these divers have to be prepared to carry out engineering tasks in them and sometimes recover casualties. Our three main watercourses out here are the Nez, the Neb and, uh, canals and the Helmand River. Um, quite fast moving bodies of water and so quite testing, um, quite testing conditions for our divers. Um, the rivers are um, quite uh, clear, um, however the canals are going to have quite murky conditions down to as much as nil visibility and particularly through our winter tour which Herrick 19 is, you're going to have a lot of um, wash coming off the mountains which will degrade the visibility and quality of the water. One diver has his mask blacked out to simulate working at night or in poor visibility. Although they can't simulate moving water, diving blind helps them to prepare for the murky conditions they may face forcing them to rely on their dexterity, conducting tasks through touch and the help of their dive buddy. You need your buddy there. Um, your buddy might have better visibility than you. He's just feel, feeding you the tools, feeding you the nuts, the bolts and guiding your hands. A lot of the time we, uh, my buddy Stan was um, grabbing my hands and chucking them out of the bits I needed work on. There's only one way, of course, to know what it's really it's like it's carrying it's over 50 really? pounds of kit yeah. on your back. Oh my god. <laughs> That's really heavy, isn't it? Sorry, and a full happy? face mask with inbuilt comms. One doodal. It's only eight degrees in the dive tank here, and you can definitely feel it. It's a little bit cold to begin with, but it'll be fine. This is really hard. After some skills on the surface, it's time to submerge. Under the water, you can barely see your hand in front of your face, and the cold makes your hands quickly go numb. But the engineers put me to work, removing a screw from a piece of piping. Before they came out to Afghanistan, each one of these soldiers completed a week of intense diving in a German quarry, going to depths of 30 metres. So you can see why they are much more built for this than I was. That is so hard and cold. Brilliant. Really, really good experience. As operations draw down in Afghanistan, the dive team here may be less likely to get called out. But if they are needed, they will be ready to move. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Camp Bastion.